But anyways, the first guy that hit the dance uh, solo did his thing. My boy Saquon, I think maybe got caught a little bit off guard because he really didn't bring that fire. Hey, welcome to another episode of Super Dupa. It's your boy, Poppy Vasquez. And guys, um, so the last song that 17 dropped was um, God of Music. And right off the bat, I think in one of the videos, I said that uh, the song was supposed to sound, uh, that not supposed to sound, but I bet the song sounded way better live and would be a song that I'd want to see it live. And uh, that's what we're doing. We're watching a It's Live More Than K-Pop 17 God of Music um, performance. Um, I think I saw the D.O. one when he dropped uh, his last song. Uh, so now, now it's 17's turn, and I'm excited because uh, these are very clean, right? The musicians do a very good job of playing the music, right? Of course, because that's what K-pop does. It just and it and at this point, I, I don't even feel like calling it K-pop. I just feel like calling it music, right? Because I'm so submerged in it, and I understand it so much that whenever I listen to other music, like it just the only thing that makes it K-pop is that it's from Korea, but sometimes it's not even pop music. Sometimes it's just something else, right? So I, I think that I'm just, you know, it's just music to me now. But either way, um, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out. I know you carrots have been really great. You guys, I think, shape up a huge part of, of my followers. We're on our way to 5K, guys. I'm at 4,000, so 5K is a big, big, big milestone for this channel. Um, and, you know, I really appreciate the what you carrots have done because you guys have really helped me out and have put me onto some great music. It all started just from me listening to The Killing Voice and, you know, it just took off from there. So I'm really happy that I did that Killing Voice because they are great. Um, what else? Guys, I do have an online shirt store if you want to support the channel in more ways and just you know doing that that really helps me so i really appreciate that what else guys um you know as you guys know i uh used to play music right and i still produce it i mean i say used to play i still play music i just don't do it like for a band uh, i release music every once in a while but i am nowhere near being a god of music Ooh, boom, so that's something new that i'm trying to do i'm trying to find a way to bring up the name title in that that was kind of weak because god of music is kind of hard to bring up but you know what i did my best but guys let's see what this is called it's 4k 17 god of, no no i don't want to say 4k let's just say 17 god of music band live k-pop live music show uh, let's go yeah, it was too long, and actually, I was pretty close to when I first got to know them. Yo, my boy's uh, outfit over here on the far right looks dope. We're back, 11th studio album. Okay. Alright, hold up. It's been a minute, so let me see. The eights, the eight. I, okay, I recognize the eight. His jacket is dope because it kind of looks like a trench coat, but in a new way. <sighs> my boy in the cowboy boots. What's your name, my dude? What's your name? Okay, look. Let me see. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna make some mistakes. Okay, but I'm gonna try to from from the left to the right. We got Vernon Mingyu. I really can't see my boy's face right there, so I'm going to pass. I recognize my boy's face now, but I just don't know his name, so I'm going to pass on that. My guy in the boots. My guy in the boots. What's your name? Shh, I'm going to pass on that, too. Wait, is that Mingyu? Yeah, because I think Mingyu was the tallest. Okay, so scratch that. No. 
One one new is in the glasses, correct? So the second guy is one new. That makes uh rain boots guy the tallest. It looks like Mingyu, I believe. Right. Then is Saint Quan. Then is Pass Woozy. Um. Ooh. And then the other trench coat is J- June, S. Coops, and the eight. Right? Let me know where I was right and where I was wrong. Also, it's a little bit far away, so I really can't see. Hoshi. Wait. Hoshi is... He... Okay. I think Hoshi... He's always on this side, right? On, on, the, on the left side. So I, I'm thinking uh, fourth from the left is, is Hoshi. No, that's not Hoshi. All right, I, as we go, I'm going to continue going, guys, but I'm really trying to learn, all right? All right, let's go. Oh, wait, you know what? It's a little button right here. <laughs> I think they always line up in the same. Okay, <laughs> 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 Yeah, luxurious. Okay, then I'm gonna have to check out all the band sessions. Just saying, when. One new, I was right. Oh, yeah, it does look like the sky, huh? They got they got there. They got the little thing going on. That's about to start. Everybody, shut up. Oh, this is the intro. I was about to say, I don't remember the kind of music sounding like that. Ooh, I like that blue. Sounds good. That's Hoshi. That's Hoshi, right? Yeah, yeah. Burning. Hey. hey, I like his voice, yeah. Mingyu, right? St. Quan. Is that Jing Hu? Dino. All right, they said it, Dino. Okay. Ooh. Oh, my God, that was incredible. Wait, no, that's not S. Coops. That's D- DK? Maybe. Wait, is S. Coops there?
Hold on, hold on, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. No wonder I didn't. I'm sorry. To me, I feel like I think it's DK, right? The 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 second from the right. I kind of feel like he looks like S Coop's a little bit. So S Coop is, isn't here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. Okay. Hey, so so I think I'm getting it, all right? There's a lot of guys, but so I've always thought that uh uh DK kind of looks like S Coops. I get them mixed up, but but I figured it out, right? And I remember Joshua. Joshua is because there's like 13 names. They don't always pop up in my head. I know there's a Dino, there's a DK, there's a Joshua. Joshua, I'm going to say is, I don't know. We'll figure, we'll figure, we'll figure it out. But, but so far, this song, yo, it sounds just like the album. So a shout out. You know, I always have to shout out the musicians. Honestly, they're the unspoken heroes uh, because, you know, you got to not mess up. These are like performing musicians, meaning they play perfectly. They practice until they get it perfectly, which is, it's so impressive, right? Um, so, so shout out to the musicians, great musicians. If y'all know the musicians' names, put them in the comments because they deserve credit as well. But then the guys as well, the fact that they don't have, uh, they're, they're one short, they're SQ short, they're leader, right? And that's why I was kind of wondering because usually, and I could be wrong, but usually in my experience with K-pop, you got the leader who kind of... Um, like starts the chants and stuff like that. So I was like, why the guy that I thought was as coops? I was like, why is he not doing that? But but now I know why. Let's go. The eight. Hoshi, right? I'm pretty sure that's Hoshi. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I was right about Mingyu. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. They got a little dance break in there. That's what's uh yeah that sounded good. All right, so I think that Jung 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 Wan Jung Hoon Jung Han is uh because I'm trying to picture him with the long hair right because he's he's the one with, that had the long hair. I think he's on the the third from the left. Yeah. This was amazing though. Oh, they filmed two other ones, huh? I didn't check those out. Hey. Oh, they always shout out carrots. Yeah, I figured it out. All right. <laughs> and they're always playing, right? Peace out, y'all. Hey. Hey. Uh, 
I was reading uh, because I do have planned to react to uh, Epic High with Hoshi. They already have a, it, it's live on that too, so it caught me by surprise. I need to probably get that out. Should I do a double whammy and do a double seventeen? Maybe that's my sign, right? Um, but guys, so first off, performance sounds just like the album. But at this point, I'm not really impressed by that anymore because. One thing I will get, give, uh, you know, the idols from from Korea is that they're really good. They are really good. They really are. And uh, so, honestly, the performance was great. They did good. The fact that they're one missing, and you know, the other guys had to pick up the slack. I know that's not. I know that's not easy. I really don't. I I really uh, do appreciate the fact that they picked it up together, guys. I think the more I watch this, of course, I'm gonna get the guys a little bit more um, memorized, right, in their names and their faces and all that. But yeah, man, that that, that was pretty dope. Uh, the guys, they they seem they seem to be a little silly, right? I really enjoy that that dance break. I know that uh uh the first guy, God, what was his name? But anyways, the first guy that hit the dance uh, solo did his thing. My boy Saquon, I think, maybe got caught a little bit off guard because he really didn't bring that fire. Uh, but guys, I really like this song. I mean, live, just like what I thought it it'd be great. You know, I was I was kind of hoping that the, the drummer would be like a little bit more. But I get it. He's got to, you know, it's not about the drummer. Right. But I'm pretty sure live, like in a concert, they make it a little bit more like that. But, but honestly, it sounded just like the album. Which is pretty dope um guys do y'all want me to react to the epic high one with hoshi i think i will i think i might so um but guys let's get to our quote of the day um so i've been on uh a socrates kick lately right and so i figured uh you know i'd bring up some of his quotes so uh he says it's better to change an opinion than to persist with the wrong one and uh, I think that nowadays uh, we all want to be right. And I think that's actually a human nature is wanting to be right. We want to know or think that we know what we know. And uh, here in America, I really feel that it's taken over and we're stuck in our ideals and our ways and have shut off possibilities to other ideas. I don't know if it's the same in your country. I would assume because I believe it's like a human nature, right? People want to know what they know but sometimes they don't want to put in the effort to really understand and that's where confirmation bias is because then when they do put effort they only look into things that reaffirm their beliefs um i have really tried to take it upon me the socratic method and is that i don't know anything um and so that's why i always say when i talk about these quotes that it's like i could be wrong because i really don't know anything i'm not a philosopher or uh, anything. I'm just trying to figure it out. And, you know, I think that one thing that shows growth is being able to have an opinion, only look up things that go against that opinion, then, you know, maybe dive back into your opinion and go back and forth and maybe meet somewhere in the middle, because I think most people are reasonable. Right. And if you had an open idea of what opposing views, no matter what it is, no matter if it's political views, no matter if it's religious views, no, no matter what it is, um, if you were open to listening to both sides. Right. I think that you would better understand your position. And sometimes that means changing your position. Uh, maybe it's just maybe reaffirms what you already believe, which is great because that means that you believe what you believe even more and you have a reason why versus this is what's popular. This is what everybody else believes. Or even if I don't believe this, I could be persecuted by my peers or other people that I respect. You know, uh, it takes a lot of uh, courage to um, sometimes stand out of the crowd. You know, and I think that's uh, ultimately why Socrates, you know, was convicted and then technically kind of killed himself. So, guys, what do you guys think about this quote? How, how do you feel it applies to you and your country? You know, because I'm I know there's a lot of people that watch that aren't from the U.S. And, and you know, I want to get to know the world, you know, so let me know how it applies to you guys. Thanks you so much for being here. I really do appreciate you guys. Remember, be cool and I'll see you all later. Peace.